In this video, we are going to demonstrate perhaps the most powerful feature of Evanic One World Suite. Watch how you can seamlessly integrate all your marketplace transactions with Tally ERP9 or with Tally Prime. Once you've done the basic setup of installing your Tally Chrome extension onto your system, which is Evanic Tally extension, all you need to do is open your Tally on the same computer on which you are running your Evanic One World Suite. Click on Integrations menu on the left sidebar and click on Tally ERP9. Now you will have to open your Tally software. Let's start with creating a new company. Open Tally, click on Create Company. Type the name of the company that you would want to create. In this case, I am calling it a demo company. Let's say this company is in Maharashtra. Click on Save. The next step is you will need to configure your accounting and inventory setup. Click on features. Click on accounting features. Enable yes for using debit and credit notes. This is required for the purpose of syncing your return orders of marketplaces. Also enable zero value transactions. Save. Next, go on the inventory features and enable multiple go downs. This is essentially required because you may be having multiple warehouse fulfillment and tally transactions need to be recorded as per the appropriate warehouse. Save. Click on statutory and taxation. Enable GST. You may enter your GST details later. Now as you can see, a new demo company has been created in tally with no vouchers entered. Let's go back to Evanic. Refresh the Tally integration page. You can see the company that you've created in Tally is now reflecting here called the demo company. This is getting seamlessly integrated with your Tally ERP9. The other alternate check which is important is to see whether you've done your GST setup correctly or not. Click on OWS setup. Click on GST setup. Yes. So since you've done all your GST setups, defined them appropriately, we can proceed straight away to doing the tally integration. In your tally integration, you've got multiple options of syncing your data. Now, as you can see, you've got an option of importing sales, importing sales returns, and importing sales with SKU creation. The difference between importing sales and importing sales with SKU creation is, in case of importing sales, Evanic will not create a new SKU. It will try to find the mapped SKU in your tally and post the data in that particular SKU. In case you want Evanic to create the SKUs also for you, within Tally, select the import sales with SKU. Let's go back to Tally and create a ledger. Once you've done your complete setup, the next step is to select the start date and the end date for the data that you want to sync in. I'm going to be showing you what happens with the import sales option versus the import sales with SKU option. If you do import sales and click on submit, you will get an error message. See what the error message. So the error message that you get here is that voucher type sales Evanic does not exist. Evanic creates separate voucher types in your tally to identify the data which has been imported from tally. All you need to do is copy this voucher type and create it in tally. Go to tally, click on voucher types, click on create. Hit this voucher type, click this as a sales voucher and save. Go back to Evanic, click on submit. Now, as you can see, every time that you click on import sales, the system is going to prompt you to create these ledgers as it's not able to find those ledgers. The option of creating these ledgers automatically is when you click on import sales with SKU creation and click on submit. As you can see, there has been no error message because the system created all the re relevant voucher types, ledgers, and products on Tally. Let's see how these products look on Tally. You can see 296 vouchers were created in less than 12 seconds. We will see how these vouchers look like. So as you can see, we will open one of these vouchers. The invoice number IN2260 is the same invoice number which has been generated at your marketplace. The date of the invoice, reference number carries the order ID. Party account name is a default ledger name which you can relate with your marketplace. 
If you open this, you will also find details of the customer, his location and his PIN code. This is essentially for the purpose of defining whether it will be IGST applicable in case of interstate transactions or it will be a CGST and SGST in case of the same state transactions. Sales ledger also gets created. The product, as you can see, is getting created directly from the marketplace, which is why it's a very long name. You can create your own products within Tally and map them with Evanix so that the same product gets mapped when the voucher is getting synced. You will find the GST breakup of the entire order and the order ID also in the narration stated there for you. Now we are going to look at how do we import return orders. Ensure that you have received your returns on your Evanic One World Suite. We will go to OWS Sales Returns and click on Sales Returns. Now as you can see on your returns page, please click on Returns Received. Only the return orders which have been received on Evanic will get integrated with your Evanic One World Suite. Let's go back to Tally Integration. You will again need to select the date range. Let's take the same date range, 1st till 5th of January. Click on Import Sales Return with SKU Creation and click on Submit. Now as you can see, there were some returns in which the GST rates were not mapped. Hence, we will need to create a ledger called Sales 0%. Copy this, create a new ledger under the Sales Group. Create a sales ledger under the sales account. In terms of GST applicable, mark it as not applicable. And save this. Now go back to Evanic and click on submit. Again, the applicable duties and taxes need to be created in your tally. Keep it as zero. As you can see, now the successful import of return orders has been done in tally. Let's see how they look in your tally. Return orders will get posted in a voucher type called Return Evanic, which gets automatically created by the system. Open any one of them. You will find the return, return order will have the original invoice number, the return date, the ledger name, the customer details, sales ledger type, product, quantity, and all your GST details as applicable. Importing your sales and returns into your Tally ERP9 or Tally Prime is 100% GST compliant. Let's see how your GST reports look like. Open your GSTR1. Select the period for which you have imported the data. You will find incomplete and mismatch of information. Let's see why this incomplete and mismatch is coming. The unit of measure needs to be mapped. So we will be mapping the unit of measure right now and see how the effect takes place. Map the default created numbers to numbers in your tally and save. Let's go back and see how your GSTR1 looks like. As you can see, your GSTR1 is now complete with B2B invoices and B2C invoices showing separately. You will have all bifurcation of tax information in your GSTR1. B2B invoices will be shown separately. That's it. Save huge amount of time and effort and always be on time in terms of filing your GST uh, returns with Evanic One World Suite.